Like people, trees develop character as they age. They get fat around the middle, thinner at the top. They get wrinkly with deep, fissured bark. And they even shrink. Many ancient trees are hollow because the deadwood in the center of the tree, which it no longer needs, is eaten by insects and fungi. They digest the nutrients and then release it back into the soil for the tree to reuse. Deadwood provides essential food and shelter for most of England's invertebrates too. Fallen boughs become complex mini worlds full of incredible lives. A female ichneumon wasp is looking for the ideal place to lay her egg. She probes holes in a fallen log, searching for one already occupied by a horntail wasp grub. When she finds the right spot, she inserts her ovipositor, a pin-sharp four-centimetre drill through which she lays her egg into the horntail grub. When her own grub hatches, it will devour the horntail grub as its first meal. As well as homes, ancient trees provide a huge amount of food. Acorns are grazed on by birds and squirrels and deer and many other animals. One of England's oldest inhabitants is the old man of Moccas. He is over 800 years old and has seen the lives of 30 human generations come and go. Over those eight centuries, he has sustained countless animals, plants and fungi. And we're only just beginning to understand the vital role that fungi have in the tree's survival. The mushrooms we see are just the fruits of the fungi, some of which live in vast networks of fibres underground, extending from the tree's roots and drawing in more water and nutrients than the tree could get alone. Ancient trees support a whole world of lichen, a fungi and an algae that live together in a mutual relationship. Lichens need ancient trees. They only grow in clean air, which the trees provide in abundance. Deer and many other animals graze on the lichen for its antibacterial properties. An ancient tree is an intricate web of all these fascinating interdependent relationships but this can be damaged by overgrazing, disturbance and disease. And without it, the tree dies. England's ancient trees are a back from the brink priority. We don't want to lose any more of these incredible veterans. Back from the Brink is one of the most ambitious conservation projects ever undertaken. It aims to save 20 species across England, all of which are nearly extinct. It is the first time ever that so many conservation organisations have come together with one focus. And the power of collaborating like this is really beginning to make things happen. Much of the success, of course, is down to the local people. So far, over 2,000 people and counting have volunteered to help back from the brink. This amounts to over 10 years of working days given for free to protect our wildlife and wild places. Incredible. And the best part is that anyone can join them.